What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard and I'm the guy in the red suit. We are going to continue with one shot and last time we got to bed and we fixed the elevator. So let's get back into the game. I guess there is another dream and yep, there is. Oh, who's this? I guess it's Nico's mother and he gets, uh, she gets pancakes. Oh. Richard? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. You have birthday too? Yes. Oh. Then, what's your favorite food? Is it pancake? Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes. Me too. On my last birthday I ate 10 of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors make a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes. Oh, do they share the food with you? No. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching their little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they are worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yes, let's go to the elevator. Oh hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? Oh shoot, you've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, let's get into the elevator. Sure, it's taking a while. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Richard, should I? Ask about his job, ask about the city, ask about the library. Resume in awkward silence. <laughs> okay, elevator taking a long time. Floor. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Nico. Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Richard. People are counting on us. Let's go find the library. Okay, let's find the library. Beep pop. Beep pop. Ooh, who's this one? You're right. Ah, oh, the messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think? I think I should listen to Richard. After all, Richard helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Okay. Streetland. Um, yeah, let's follow this sign. Ooh. 
What was that? Richard, did you see what happened? Yeah. My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. A bag full of trash. Gross. Shall I continue in this alley? What's this? There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. But wait, Richard, are we really gonna take this with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. Yeah, take everything you can. Hey, they're actually pretty light. It's a big book. The title says, Understanding Robots. Big books. Ah, these are dictionaries. Some of the words are underlined. Most of the words are underlined. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Frame photo of someone. Okay, so I got... A lot of lenses, convex, thick lens, thin lens, and concave lens, and my empty tube. Which is interesting. Let's continue getting up. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? They are guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. Oh, pass. What does he offer? This smells kinda nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Are you here for your photos? No? Alright then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Okay, that's weird. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep. Still getting the hang of making these fried candies curious. They don't taste too bad though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. Hey, hey, ready for me to blow your mind? Um, okay. Okay, so I've invited a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pillars in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me, go spread the word. Okay, I got this water pill. Not sure right now what I need it for though. And this seems a little bit big. See where I get here. Okay, is there something here? Behind? No? Is this the tower? It is, right? X. Okay. Please don't minimize my screen. Okay, I think I need to do something before I get... Um, inside of this tower. But I guess this is the tower. It looks like I can unlock this door. Nice. But where to go now? So I'm now on the right. Ah, this is where I am, okay. Let's check here. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Okay, so there's the library, but let's talk to this creepy guy. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Okay, let's get into the library. Ooh. The 
author's book the author's book cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he doesn't write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Uh -huh. dot, dot, dot. What? What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in the library. There's books in the library. Um, go back to chatty one upstairs. Oh, another computer is currently off. Let's bug the chatty one. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historically accounts to reference sections in downstairs and, uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you there to look for the author then? No? Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kindly, uh, kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Scared of letters. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling box. I will. Okay. This computer is also currently off. Who is this guy? The offer is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied. Him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just gonna write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Oh. Uh, uh. I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's major got major talent. But it just hurts. You know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person, a cat are pets. And mouses. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Hey, then I guess we are in the same boat, kiddo. Okay, let's check this computer. Currently off. Bots to the left. The book club. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's most pictures. Oh. Yeah, Dota doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. The other publishes books at highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such a mechanism exists in this world. Is it actually possible in your home dimension? No. I just saw it in a movie once, about superheroes and stuff. A big book, book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of new ecological niches in the post-sun world. Okay. 
Also, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. This dry, erased board is made of metal. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They are big compendiums, you will see them if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels mostly. A book book a big book with black clover on the cover. It tells us an comprehensive guide to phosphorus. Say red and blue phosphor in the barons, green phosphor in the glen, and red, phos red phosphor is in the refugee. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we are here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there would be clues here. This, that is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. She's not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She's in the archi archival room upstairs. When she's concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is acceptable through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Okay, wait, maybe something useful here. Coffee cups. And to the right. Wait. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna pick up the phone, I guess. But I have to wait. She's not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is on uh, not flexible. I have not been tamed. Okay, so I can't get through. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um. But I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and these beautiful cliffhangers. Okay, and another computer that is currently off. I need a library card. I don't think those people will get me some. Maybe this guy. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him, Richard. Or maybe not. So let's get out and to the right. Can I? Oh, 
combine those? No. No. Okay. Um. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here of one shot. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like. And as always, tell a friend about the guy in the red suit. <laughs>